I was the first Navy reservist to become an LDO in 6490, law enforcement. Now, for a young sailor getting out of uh, boot camp, you've made a big jump. Now you've got to make something out of your career. And even if you don't want to stay in the Navy, you've learned how to take orders. Soon you'll learn how to give orders. And you've learned a lot of uh, uh, techniques and a lot of uh, things that, in whatever rate you're in, that'll help you for the rest of your life. It's a great education. Just going into the military and having to follow orders and then ultimately to be a leader is fantastic. You, know, you can't be a leader unless you've been a subordinate and a follower. And it's a great lesson. Whenever I see a sailor in uniform or a guy who comes on the police force who's in the reserves or might not want to, I said, you know what? Go back. Make a career out of it. It's the best thing you can do in your life. It, it changed my life, and uh, that's why I went back in the reserves when I got out. That's why I became an LDO. And the only sad thing about the Navy is they don't let old people serve anymore. You do your job, and you help your bosses, and you help the Navy. The Navy is going to do more than they can to help you. Take care of your troops, and your troops will take care of you. Being in the... Uh, the best military branch in the world, the greatest country in the world. I have to be patriotic. I'm patriotic. I love my country. And I think uh, when I die and they have to do an autopsy and they'll find NYPD blue in one arm and U.S. Navy blue in the other. Mm -hmm.